Hey, this is Elijah with the Oxygen Team, and today we're going to be talking about font sizes. This is going to be a pretty quick video, but it's going to cover some things that took a little while for me to wrap my head around. So I'm hoping this video will be helpful in guiding you to make better choices when it comes to font sizes and units on your websites. So I've set up a few different text elements here. I have a heading one, heading two, and heading three element. Then I have just a simple paragraph text element. Now the big question we get a lot is whether you should use pixels or rems for your font sizes. And we're going to take a look at a few different reasons why it's probably a good idea to use rems. So first, let's take a look at what a root font size is. If we right click this text element, which is set to one rem, its computed font size comes out to 16 pixels. That means our root font size is 16 pixels because one rem equals one times the root font size. Now this root font size can be changed, but you have to be a little careful about how you do that. And I'll show you why here in a minute. But first, let's go ahead and take a look at what happens when we try to zoom into this page. There's a few different ways people might zoom. One is through just the actual zoom feature here, which allows them to increase the size of everything. And you can see everything has uh, gotten much larger. This works pretty much no matter what. It's pretty hard to break this, so you don't have to worry about that too much. But what we do need to worry about is making sure that our font sizes are reactive to user preferences in the browser. Let me show you what I mean by that. Let's open up our settings here, and we're gonna search for font size, okay? This is gonna turn up this font size control. By default, it's set to medium, so let me move this over so we can kind of see what happens when we change this. So if we change this to very small, you can see the only text element that changed was the one that I have set to rem. So this alone is a huge argument for using rem over pixel values because not everyone is using the zoom feature. A lot of folks might just have their font size amped up in their browser, which means this becomes a big accessibility problem. If somebody needs their fonts to be very large, but your fonts are not responsive to this setting, well, they now have a hard time reading your content. So let me show you how to fix this. What you're gonna do is you're gonna go into Oxygen, and for headings, it's super simple. We just go to Settings, Global Styles, Headings, and we change these values to rems. So let's go ahead and change this to say uh, 2.5 rem. This will set to two rem, get rid of that period there. And then H3 will set to 1.5 rem. So let's save that, jump up here and see what happens. Now let's open our settings again and let's adjust this. So you can see now that everything that's using rem is adjusting appropriately. Very small, back to medium. But our body text or our normal text is not adjusting. So there's another quick way to fix that. So we can go into settings and we're gonna go back to global styles here and we're gonna go to body text. And here is where we set our global font size. And we can just type one rem. We can also change our unit over here. But again, rem is always gonna be relative to the root font size of the document. So it's a very safe unit to use for typography. So let's go back up here, refresh and open our settings once more. Now, if we make adjustments, all of our typographical elements are going to adjust. So when trying to decide whether to use pixels versus rems for typographical elements, I would always lean towards using rems. Now, one trick you can do to make rems a little bit easier to wrap your head around, let's set this back to medium, is we can change the root font size in a way that does not break accessibility features like our browser font size setting. Let's take a look at two ways we can do that and which one's kind of the best approach. So let's add a style sheet. So we'll go to style sheets, add a style sheet, and we'll call this styles. And we're gonna go root, and this allows us to set our default or root font size, which by default looks like this. But because one rem equals 16 pixels, that can be a little confusing sometimes to figure out how to get the exact font size you want. But instead of this, 
we can actually use a percentage, which gives us a little bit better of an experience when using REMS and lets us kind of determine more granular values easier. So let me show you how that works. We can set it to 62.5%, which comes out to about 10 pixels. So what we should see on the front end, if we refresh and check the font size of our root font size element here, which is set to one rem, it should be 10 pixels. And you can see that it is here. So what that means is now we can do something like this. If we want this to be 16 pixels, we can set it to 1.6 rem. Perfect. Now we can go up here, refresh, and we should have a 16 pixel font size. So 1.6 equals 16 pixels. Makes it much easier to dial in the font size you want. Now the real test, does this actually work with the browser zoom settings? So let's open that up and let's make an adjustment here. Small, looks like it changed, very small. Let's set it to very large. So by using this percentage on the root font size, we've allowed the browser font size settings to still work as expected, but we still have control over our font sizes. Whereas if we had set our root to a pixel value, for instance, let's go here and set our root to something like, I don't know, 24 PX. Okay. Let's try that. Let's go up here and then let's play with our browser font settings and see if that still works. And I think what we'll find is that it doesn't. See, by setting a pixel value for your font size on the root element, you've completely broken this huge accessibility feature. So for best practices, and to kind of recap what we've done here, is we've set the root font size to 62.5%, which then allows us to use values like 1.6 rem to get 16 pixels computed size. Then we've gone into our global settings and we've gone to our body text setting and set the font size to one rem. And in fact, now that we've made this root font size adjustment, we would want this to be 1.6 rem. And then we've gone into our headings and set all of these to a rem value as well. Now, final tip of this video is that if you do want your heading sizes to adapt to the viewport, you can use clamp instead of a straight rem value, but you should still use rem within those clamp values. So you would set this to none and then use your clamp function in there. But instead of using, you know, 12 pixels, one VW and 16 pixels, you would use rem instead of pixel values here which we're not gonna dive fully into clamp in this video because that's kind of its own dedicated topic, but just know that that can be done as well while still retaining the browser accessibility feature that allows users to adjust the default font size. So I think that about covers what you need to know about setting your font sizes using REMS versus pixels when you're building a WordPress site using Oxygen. Again, this is Elijah with the Oxygen team and thank you very much for watching.